going on everybody? This is Adam at Invisible Hand Studios. I'm hanging out up here at Discover Games. I'm going to do another War Cradle Studios unboxing. Today we have the Path of Chronozone from Mythos. And check out these guys. Let's see what they got. Amazing packaging, as always. So here looks like we got the claws. From Chronozone himself. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Pretty wicked little beast. Those are his arms. His body sections. Pretty wicked looking little monster fella. Yeah, check out that face. It's only a mother could love that one. And moving on, we're going to be looking at some of the pieces for the cultists. Now, these guys really remind me of the esoteric order of Dagon, especially with their symbol. <clears throat> awesome robes. See, especially right there. And a lot of the symbolage they got like on their foreheads. It's pretty neat. Some hook weapons. This looks to be, I won't even try, let's see here. Elizabeth Talbot, we'll get to all that. I'll put all these together and we'll check them out. All right, one more bag. Oh, here we have the boss man himself. He comes with uh, a demon on his back, actually, I think, yeah, it's got the, the chronozone kind of coming out his back. We'll get to all that. It's Chester Barron. Excellent stuff. Yeah, that's the one. Sliding up out of his backside there. Really cool weapons. And then the last two cult members. So it looks like uh, Edward Carter, and maybe Jane Carter. You know, these guys kind of have a, uh, I know it's not related to Mythos, but a Court of the Owls kind of vibe. Which I'm a huge Batman fan, so I'm digging it. All righty, well, I'm gonna get these put together. We'll come back, see what we got. And we're back. So these guys went together really well. 
Uh, if you know, War Cradle's resin is always top of the line. Now we're going to start. This is uh, John Talbot. I got no idea their uh, story. I didn't do any of the uh, reading into it just yet. But these models are incredible. I love the little prod and the nod to uh, the esoteric order of Dagon. It's pretty cool. Moving on to Elizabeth Talbot. Got the awesome hooks. Then the boss man himself, Chester Barrowman. which he's got the chronozone coming out of his back there. Pretty wicked looking. Next is Lydia Heron. Really dynamic. Then moving on to Edward Carter. And like I said, these guys really remind me of the Court of Owls. If you ever check out any of the uh, New 52 Batman stuff. And then here we have Jane Carter. And then lastly, the big beastie, the Chronozon itself. Really wild looking. Such a cool looking little creature. All right, well, that's the path of Chronozon for Mythos. And if you are interested in picking one of these up yourself, you can check it out at Discover Games, either in store or online, discover-games.net. And as always, I am Adam from Invisible Hand Studios. Find me on Facebook. See you guys on the next one.